So then we are back with more understandings from the Renewed Covenant, from the Aramaic English translation. It's the very close translation of the original manuscripts. And then the question is, who are going to be, or whom is going to be given in the responsibility of the tabernacles? That's the main question. What is the point then, and what is the portion of the Gentiles? The Gentiles must understand the original plan, what the... Uh, Creator meant his true plan of salvation and then began to encourage then the holy Hebrews to return to their services. That's the point of the Gentiles. He makes absolutely no profit for any kind of a person being involved with these Jesus and then these stupid congregations. It's not even part of the holy plan. The Creator's got nothing to do with it. That's why our country should have democracy and a democratic government every time. It's much rather and sound system to have a democratic government with very many glimpses of truths and updates of truths of the Holy Manuscript than otherwise. Because Republicans is a joke. They are absolutely a joke. The word Republican is a joke. Because they base their entire teaching, the entire foundation is absolutely rotten. They don't have any basis of any kind of understanding of the original manuscripts. They are precisely basing their faith from the point where then Shaul or Paul mentioned them not to do. Why are they believing then this junky religious system? That's why in our country never worked. And then they base the entire government principles based upon teachings that do not even exist. Why subject the country of another 40 years of the same junk tried before many times and never worked? It's much more important for people to have sound mind to do what they want in a democratic government system and then when the people are interested in religion they understand the very important facts and the truth. Then they make a decision on their own later. At least they are exposed with a sound doctrine, sound teaching. And if they make a decision of going on with it, so be it. If not, then not. Now having a government that is then related with some sort of a religious group, from foundations that are absolutely rotten, absolutely non-existent. And then they force other people to do what they do. But then the very apostle told them not to do. And then the government begins then to influence people to do what Shaul or Paul told them not to do. Because any kind of a religion that points away from the holy second service in the tabernacles is rotten. If they don't understand the original manuscript as then the creator intended them, then they should never implement any sort of it in a system. These countries should be 100% democrat with glimpses of truth from the original manuscript. If people they make a decision then to become more religious or if they want to name another name for their belief, as long as they receive the truth of it and what it is, where it came from, then they have a chance. Otherwise it doesn't work. They are a country already tried. King James Version, New King James Version, and then New International Version, New English Bible, and blah blah blah. Those Bibles are absolutely twisted. They were translated wrongly. That's why it never works. Never does. So why people then are subjecting themselves to another four years of yoke, 
four years of slavery under the a Republican government. What are they going to hear? Jesus again, this false Messiah that Shaul or Paul told them not to believe? And for how much longer are they going to neglect the understanding of the second service in the Holy Tabernacles? Because the Savior in the four relinks, in the four Gospels, He was pointing the people to prepare themselves through and via the second service so then they would be ready for the vengeance to come. The second portion of the Torah that they think it's abolished. Only half of the Torah and half of the prophets were completed. The other half, then the Savior was pointing them Make sure you understand the salvation of the Gentiles and be secluded when vengeance comes. Make sure the Torah is obeyed, the instructions are obeyed in its entirety because vengeance is coming. That's the whole point. And then not only they have a savior, their wonders in the world, they think the Torah was abolished. They don't understand the second portion of the Torah and the prophets. And then they think they are going to heaven. When the truth of it is the Creator is coming to the earth via His Son and His Holy Tabernacles. And from there they are going to sound the shofars. For how much longer are they going to live in fables? Much rather having an hour every seven days where a person hears the solid truth and then be a Democrat the entire time. But when you decide to come to hear some words of wisdom and understanding, then you re receive a hundred percent truth of it. Then you ponder. If you like it or not, what you think, if you should do some more research. But then you don't change your lifestyle. You maintain what you are doing. There were far more religious presidents prior of this time. There were very many of them and never worked. It was a disaster every time. Be a hundred percent Democrat, never again Republicans. They are lunatics. They don't understand the very understanding and precise translations of the original manuscript. That's the problem. And then if they think the temple over there is so important, the temple is not important. The temple in Jerusalem is not important. What's important is the tabernacle. The temple is not relevant. The understanding and the timing of the temple is far gone. What the Creator has in mind is continuation and resuming of the second service. And it was given a portable tabernacle for a reason. The tabernacle is absolutely the most important. The Creator never intended of having a fixed place. He did receive the temple because it was given by the truth, understanding by the truth, and by the desire of being obedient to his, his statutes, his holy judgments, that's why he received the temple. But in the understanding of the Creator, in his mind, the temple is always in the earth portable. The temple is portable. Because what the Creator is saying, in this earth we are pilgrims. From place to place, from place to place, from place to place. The Messiah, the Savior, did not have a house. 
he had to live outside, he had to live in the air. He, sometimes he didn't have any rest, sometimes he spent the whole night praying. The tabernacle is mobile, never fixed. This idea of a fixed place in the earth is not from the Creator. The fixed temple had its time. It is destroyed and there is no purpose for it. What does have purpose is the continuation of the tabernacle service from the first and then the second service. We should be encouraging the people of Israel to resume their second services. That's the task of the Gentiles. Gentiles, they can't resume the second service. Precisely as Moses told them to do, because the Creator Himself, when He came in person, He said, Whatsoever Moses told you to do and observe. These do and observe. Those were the words of the Creator. He spoke to his disciples and to the scribes and the people of the law. Whatsoever Moses told you to do and observe, these do and observe. The rotation of the priests, the tabernacle services, the positioning of each of the tribes, each of those areas must be done as per design. That's why he said, whatsoever Moses told you to do and observe, these do and observe. He knew this was the model set from heaven, can't be changed. He came and he brought the second service and he brought the first anointing for these second service in the holy tabernacles. Because came the time for the salvation of the Gentiles. That's why you have then the Savior sending two by twos, seven by sevens. You have an understanding of then the Creator Himself then teaching His people as they were taught. Symbolizing Moses rescuing the people from slavery. And what was the next then after the people came from slavery? They went to the mountain to get the Holy Law and to form the first service. When the Gentiles, they were then saved, they were brought then near in the camps. So it's becoming more familiar with the holy plan. They came near the holy camps where the tabernacles were. And the service continued. But rather than doing sacrifices of animals, they had the privilege of worship the very Son in the Holy Tabernacles. And then the updates you find in Hebrews. The updates of the Holy Priests. And the rest of us, we are outside of the uh, Holy Tabernacles, outside of the camp. We visit at the gate very often. And that so far, since a lot of people, they are not doing this, the best is having a gathering of people where they can come and receive the truth. And then later they live as they want, or at least they have, in the back of their minds, a portion of the light. Rather than being the old junk, taught in the past, never worked, it's a lie, plain blunt lie, and they don't understand what it means of the Holy Tabernacles. Because the regular scriptures have proven they are rotten. They don't work. Watch what the Messiah said so many times. Watch what then Paul or Shaul mentioned. If a person comes to you and proclaims to you another Messiah, another Savior, another Gospel, another Spirit, 
that does not understand the holy second service in the tabernacles, then be sure you have the false Messiah. That's why Republicans, they never work. Because they are teaching a Savior precisely the contrary what Shaul or Paul was then teaching. So you have them in on one side they are teaching part of understanding of a Messiah they don't understand. On the other side they are doing a blunt lie. They are forcing the people to go in congregations that shouldn't exist. Because the point are not the congregations, the point is the holy tabernacles, the continuation of the work of Moses. And then obviously, when the Messiah then he ascended, what was the first situation that he said to them? Go and then visit at the house of prayer and wait there until the first function came. Tongues, interpretation of tongues. Was the first function. His people then would be endowed with functions from the Spirit and from the Holy Tabernacles they would receive orders and then the people in the camp would go outside and would be ministering to the Gentiles. That's the whole salvation plan. That is not above and not below. It is truly stupidity for this government to be Republican. Why are they going to put themselves under a yoke, another 40 years of yoke, from junky teachings, and if you give them the Holy Scripture from the original manuscript, they can't teach. What they do, they come together and they sing around and they screw other people from their backs. This is what they do. They're making deals among themselves and screwing others. They've got nothing to do with it. That's why then the Messiah said, Broad is the way that leads to destruction because he knew Later, people would try to make this Messiah of himself a wanderer from the Holy Tabernacles. People have to try to link up a huge gap that there is in their minds and their understanding from the time of Moses and Revelation. And there is a line that goes straight through their minds that they must link up themselves with. There is no Savior outside of the Holy Tabernacles. It was a lie. The entire Republican government is based upon a foundation of lies. Precisely what Shaul told them not to do. What does it mean another spirit? What does it mean another gospel? What does it mean another gospel is any kind of a teaching outside of the Holy Tabernacles of the Second Service? What does it mean another spirit, a Savior wandering from the Holy Tabernacles in the world? What does it mean another gospel, another form of teaching that think you can be receiving a spirit and having some sort of a link with the heaven when you don't. This government must remain democrat until the end. And then more truths from the scripture must be given to the people as an option. Simple option, as you would go in a supermarket and you make a decision what brand of bread you want to buy. Amongst the Gentiles, that's what it is. You don't have to be bound by any kind of a law, you don't have to be then loyal to any of them. 
When you decide to be loyal to what you believe, then the Spirit will help you. And during this time, encourage the Hebraic people to return to their holy services. Because that's when discipline is coming upon them. And when the Creator, He moves, He has no slack. That's why the Messiah then He explained and explained and explained. He explained the Spring Feast, the Autumn Feast. He explained the end of the world. He explained what His disciples would do. What it means of being a Shaliak or Apostle, a Prophet. He explained the end of the world, the new world. He explained every area of it. That's why when he returns, it's for judgment. Whoever is not lined up is judged. And Gentiles outside the camp, they are gone by the end of the 60th chapter of Revelation. That's the truth of it. What, what do you want? Another Republican government lie to you to say, Oh, when you die, you're going to heaven. Oh, Jesus understands you. Oh, it is hard. Oh, everybody sins. Well, there is grace for it. Someday you're going to heaven, and then you're going to sit with God, and going to judge the other nations. Oh, you want to lie? The same crap junk? Bad news. There is no going to heaven. The Creator does not want to observe the face of no person near Him. The only person that is near Him is His own counsel and also His Son. He doesn't want to observe the face of anybody up there. Not until the vengeance is done, sin is done, and then the new world then is established. Sin is destructive. We don't understand the, the potency of sin. Then these lies of people going to heaven and judging the nations with the Creator. What is stupidity? But this is what then the regular scriptures teaches them. Stupidity. That's why they have tried for so many years a Republican government and never worked. Much rather prefer of having glimpses of truth, short periods, absolutely jam-packed solid truth where you can make a decision later and leave it the way you want than otherwise. Because then people are forcing themselves to do what they do not want to do while then they believe in a lie. And outside of the camps there are no restrictions. Have you ever realized it? The entire restrictions of the Holy Scriptures is for the tabernacles and the camps. Outside is another story.